All right, the ball's about to drop here in 13 minutes, so I'm going to get what I got to say out right away. To all the Georgia fans who said, I wouldn't come back, I wouldn't eat crow, I am right here. I I would have run my mouth just as much if we won as I will now when we lost. We did not play well today. No, we did not play well. Michigan did things that they normally didn't do. Okay, McNamara threw two interceptions. That's the most interceptions he's thrown all season in a single game. And Blake Corum fumbled the ball away. We had more turnovers today than we've had all season long. We could not stop the run. The only time we've had a real issue with the run all season long was against Michigan State and a very, very good running back in Kenneth Walker. There were so many issues in the secondary today. The offensive line play was just atrocious. They let a lot of people through. And uh, Kate McNamara and J.J. McCarthy had to run for their lives or just get sacked over and over and over again with no time to even throw the ball away. It was not a good performance out of Michigan. With that said... As a Michigan Wolverine, we've had a great season. I'm very proud. We were 2-4 and four last year. We have nothing to hang our heads low over. It's been a good year, and we will continue to do well, recruit better, and just, you know, get to the levels of, of better than mediocrity, which is what we've been for a long, long time. With all that said... There is a reason why Michigan has not looked like this all season long. And that's kudos to Georgia. So even though there's been a lot of Georgia fans and there will continue to be a lot of Georgia fans trying to give me a hard time in the comments on my past videos, you guys got to understand, I'm just having confidence in my team. I'm just having fun on my channel. And I'm giving a preview from my perspective and trying to talk junk like a fun college football fan would do. So if you can't deal with that, then fine. But I will give kudos to Georgia because, again, there's a reason why Michigan looked like that today. That front seven is as good as advertised. It was legitimate today. It was very, very uh, interesting to watch. It was unbelievable to watch. It is better than I gave them credit for. Again, the dominance Georgia had all season, I was not completely sold on it because the SEC, the SEC East is just not that good. UAB is whatever. You played Charleston Southern and Georgia Tech. You had a pretty weak schedule altogether, but you know, there is a lot to say about the dominance that they've shown all season, and now you did it against a very good football team. Michigan has been a very good football team all season long against everybody, pretty much. Against everybody. We've had some games where we laid some eggs, but we still won. We found ways to win outside of the Michigan State game. So I have to give you kudos. That front seven is very good. There was a play specifically where Nolan Smith was chasing down J.J. McCarthy, who is pretty dang fast for a quarterback, and he was just like shot out of a cannon. He didn't end up getting to him McCarthy was able to get rid of the ball but man oh man I was impressed with how quickly he got from side to side Georgia over and over again did not let us extend plays Michigan has been very good all season long with their receivers with Donovan Edwards and Blake Corum out on the exterior because we knew we weren't going to do a lot of stuff up the gut against those big guys for Georgia so we were going to you know exp expand the playbook really go outside and you guys try to get those corners and we could not I'm so impressed with how Georgia was able to to get corner to corner with their linebackers and everybody else, man. It, it was impressive. The secondary played well for Georgia all throughout. They didn't have to play too great because there was so much pressure. I mean, the line for Michigan just did not hold up. But again, that is all in the favor of Georgia. They did a very good job really making us get out of our game plan early on. And then, most importantly, what you made our defense look like is really the story of the game, honestly. It really set the tone early on. Michigan is not built to go down 14 to nothing and then 17 to nothing. We are not built to come back from that. And our defense, I mean, looked atrocious, did not look like it has all season long. But once again, that is kudos to Georgia. They had a game plan. The game plan was for Stetson Bennett to get rid of the ball quickly, to throw quick, easy, manageable routes. And Michigan, for whatever reason, we really didn't have a great game plan on our end. But Mike McDonald's in his first year. He's a young coach. So he'll learn stuff like that moving forward. I didn't love our game plan in terms of not, you know, covering up those receivers, knowing that Stetson Bennett was going to throw early to try to escape the pressure from Ojabo and Hutchinson and, and company. And we just, you know, di didn't get there. We never got there. And then we had one-on-one -on -one routes and a bunch of mismatches. Uh, very impressed with James Cook today. Man, he got loose on the receiving end a lot. Uh, he's a very, very good running back. 
Um, there's just a lot that I took for granted on Georgia. Now, I will say, in my opinion, I've seen five or six Georgia games. So you Georgia fans, you're going to know more than me. You've seen Georgia play all season long, obviously. But in my opinion, this is the best they've looked all season long out of those five or six games and now seventh game that I've watched all season long out of them. They came to play, man. They came ready. Had a lot of Michigan fans in the comments during the stream say, you know, we didn't come ready. We didn't come ready to play. No, 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 no. Give give Georgia the round of applause. Not only did they come ready, but we did come ready too. They're just more talented. They're they're more talented, and they played to their full potential today. And personally, uh, for the sake of the national championship game, I hope it's a good one, and I hope they play to their full potential next week. And I hope Alabama plays to their full potential next week. I hope you know it's an excellent national championship game because as much as I don't like the SEC for their bias and stuff, I don't really have anything against the conference as a whole, and I think it's going to be a great game, and I hope it's going to be a great game. Me personally, I'm going with the dogs. I think that both teams are going to really bring their best effort next week, and I think Georgia, pound for pound, is the better team. What I saw out of Alabama today against Cincinnati were a lot of good things, but man, they really struggled on that offensive line, and they let Cincinnati get a lot of pressure on Bryce Young, and Bryce Young didn't necessarily look like Bryce Young at a lot of moments in that game. And if Georgia is able to get the kind of pressure on Bryce Young that they were able to get on Michigan today, they will they will make Alabama look like a lot of what they've looked like through some parts of the season, in my opinion. So we're going to see. But Alabama the first time around had a great game plan, was able to stop that front seven and go deep and give Bryce Young plenty of time to throw the ball or roll out of the pocket and make moves on his own. So we're going to see. It's going to be an exciting one. But yeah, I give props to Georgia, man. So y'all can get mad at me that I talk junk and stuff like that. That's part of having a channel. Uh, Uncle Lou does it. You're Georgia fans. You know Uncle Lou. He does it. Uh, he runs his mouth, and sometimes he has to eat crow, and sometimes he gets to run his mouth back. You know, that's just how it goes. That's the risk that you take having a YouTube channel and saying what you want to say on it. So uh, all I want to say, though, is I'm here, guys. I'm here. I'm, I'm clapping. Let me, let me set this up. Oh, I'm clapping. It's a little too high, but whatever. I'm clapping. Good job, Georgia. You deserve this win. You spanked us. You bent us over backwards. You ruled us today. And um, it, was, it was over at halftime, even before that. So kudos to you guys. Best of luck uh, next week. Hope you come to play. And I'm looking forward to a great one. Uh, Michigan, again, Michigan fans, we have nothing to be sad over, man. It was a great year. People could try to you know, bring down our accomplishments all they want. It was a great season, and uh, we have a lot to be proud of. We really do. There's nothing to, to hang our head low over, on, over. You know, we beat Ohio State. We, we should have beat Michigan State. We beat Penn State on the road. We beat Wisconsin on the road. We demolished Iowa in the Big Ten Championship game. It was a great year. We're Big Ten champions one year after being two and four. So, you know, both teams in this game have a lot to be proud of. Cincinnati and Alabama have a lot to be proud of. And here we are. Final two teams left over. Let's see who wants it more. Let's see who gets it. Let's see who's better. God bless, guys. Take care in 2022. Whether you're a Georgia Bulldogs fan, a Michigan fan, whatever, I wish the best for you, and I hope it's a great one.